again, everyone. I'm Christy with Home Life Academy, Apple Corps Support, walking you through the Apple Corps navigation steps. Now, some of our high school students do a lot of extracurricular things and activities that don't normally get a grade and a credit applied to them. That's where those things that we recommend, you put those into the student's portfolio. We kind of call this the student's kind of high school resume to go along with all of their academics. First of all, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your homelifeacademy.com and it's gonna look like this. You're gonna go to the top right hand corner, my HLA member login, click that, and it's gonna take you to your login page that looks like this. And then you'll simply just click login and you'll be on your family homepage. Now, down at the bottom, you'll see grade reporting, Apple Core. Just click that green apple and it takes you into your Apple Core. And I have brought up my, um, my student, Hannah. Some of the most common things to put in are community service, 4-H, uh, if they're doing missions trips, a lot of different things like that. If they've won any awards, my daughter had a poem published several years ago, so we put that in there. Any extracurricular accomplishments that you want to highlight to be put in there that don't kind of get a grade and a credit. Um, you will have to request at the end of the high school you will have to request that the student's portfolio go along with their transcripts to any colleges or anything like that. We don't automatically send it since it is optional. So a couple little things that you'll do when you go in, you will see on your student's list in Apple Corps, a couple of buttons out here to the right, view report grades, of course that's where we report everything. Portfolio is the next button. Then you'll just click that and you'll go in there and you'll see where it says to add to portfolio. Just click that button. That's where you're gonna put in your information. And here you can give a great description. You would just put in their activity, give it a title, give you the description. If they went on a missions trip, tell about what they did on that missions trip, where they went and how long they stayed. The start date and end date does not have to be exactly precise. I usually just put the start and date of the school year that she completed that project. So if she did something in December, we put it for the 2021 school year. Then, you know, start date was August 1st, end date May 15th, whatever you want to put in for that. And just make sure you save it and then it puts it there and then they can print it off to go with the transcripts and it's very well written up. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Uh, my email address is just christy at homelifeacademy.com and I'd be happy to help. Thank you.